Today's review is the NECA Ash vs. Evil Dead Hero Ash action figure. So here's the front view of the packaging. Everything's removed, but it's window style box packaging. So everything that you get in the figure, uh, with the figure, is shown in the box. So on the side is the nice uh, Ash vs. Evil Dead logo, and on the back is some photographic are some photographic shots of Ash. And as you can see on the bottom left there, there's two more figures from the Wave. So we'll go over those reviews very shortly let's take a look at the figure so here's everything in the package you get Ash the figure himself with the chainsaw attached you get a robotic arm of part of his arm attached and you get a part of the robotic arm and you get a shotgun and an additional head so here's some close-up detailing of the accessories so this is the robotic arm as you can see it's the um, when Pablo created this glove for Ash to fight against evil and I think he made this out of a Nintendo glove it's pretty cool that you get it in the 7 inch scale format so it actually comes in two pieces part of it is his arm which you can attach to Ash which I'll show you later and it just goes in like that as a swivel it moves around pretty well uh, in terms of paint apps and detail it's really really nicely sculpted and uh, although the paints there's only a couple colors here but it's it makes the glove really uh, really really detailed just so here's the additional robotic uh, arm that's in a separate piece from the package it's basically the lower part of the robotic arm here as you can see so in the show he He's, a, he's able to remove the upper part of the robotic arm and it, it looks like this so he can attach the, um, the the arm actually this way he could attach the chainsaw over here here's the shotgun uh, it's nicely weathered look uh, black and wood brown it's nicely detailed and painted so here's a close-up of Ash alternative head it's pretty goofy looking, uh, but it, it is, you know, similar to the head that's attached on the figure. It's nicely detailed and painted. Definitely looks like Bruce Campbell uh, with his likeness. His hair is nicely sculpted. The, the, the um, scratches on his face and his grin. And the figure itself. Again, that's the head that comes with the figure. And it it's, looks like the possessed version of Ash. I recall he was possessed in the show, I think on the first or second episode. Uh, so that's the funny look that you get on the figure. And in terms of paint apps, um, it it's really, really, really close to what you see in the show. It's you know his signature blue shirt and brown pants. The chainsaw is nicely painted. There's some wear and tear on it some weathering on the on the blade of the chainsaw and on the back it's pretty nice in terms of sculpt um, again it's definitely Bruce Campbell's likeness uh, his shirt which is made of soft rubber material is uh, really nice looking and the straps across his body although they're molded onto the shirt but they're if you look at it far away, it's as if it's separate uh, soft rubber pieces. On the back is the rubber, it's soft rubber material of the shotgun pocket. So you could actually just, you know, put the shotgun in there as so, and it holds pretty well. Let's talk about articulation. His head is on a ball joint. Uh, so it's actually a peg when you remove this head, but underneath that is the ball joint. And on the upper shoulder is a ball joint, but it doesn't extend out too much. This is as much I think it could go without breaking. Um, the plus side here is you get a double jointed elbow. So that allows extra 
flexible uh, display options. Chainsaw, it's attached, you can remove it. It's a, it's a, it's a swivel, so I can take it out now. Just be very careful with the handle here. This is soft rubber material, so if you push it in hard enough or move it around, it might remove, it might detach. I don't think it's removable. If I'm wrong, correct me. And at the waistline is is a swivel. There's no ab crunch. At the upper leg is a ball joint. At the knee is a, a bend and a swivel. At the foot is a ball joint. So just to show you guys, uh, since we get two separate pieces of his lower arm, so this is actually removable and as such. So with the longer piece of his uh, lower arm removed, you can attach the shorter piece with the uh, power glove. Yeah, so here's Ash with the power glove. It fits pretty well. Uh, the reason you would not put the power glove on the other arm that I just removed is because the other arm is actually longer, so it would kind of make his arm look a little weird to have the uh, the power glove extend from the piece that's already on the figure. So the shorter one works better, looks better, and um, you could actually also remove the power glove and put on the lower part of the power glove. It fits pretty well there and you could actually attach the chainsaw into there. Uh, there's a peg hole. The chainsaw has a peg and there's a peg hole on the lower part of the robotic arm. So here's Ash back with the chainsaw. I, I mean I prefer displaying the figure with the chainsaw. I mean that's just his signature weapon as uh, along with his shotgun so I'll put that on his hand over here so it actually there's a little trigger on the shotgun so it's best to try to open up his fingers a little so you can put that in it's always best to pause the camera for a little bit to you know insert accessories because you don't want to break anything so as you can see I put the sh chain uh, bleh, I put the shotgun on his hand on his left hand and it fits pretty well he holds it pretty well there's a nice grip to it and he has a trigger finger so it does uh, sculpt pretty well it does mold pretty well into the shotgun so we could swap out the heads as well overall I do love this figure um, I've been playing around for a little bit and I mean the, even it, even though it comes with um, minimal amount of accessories you could uh, have a lot of display options because of the double jointed elbow so you can do a lot of uh, poses would I recommend this figure? Yes. If you're a fan of Evil Dead, you must get this. Um, I, have got, I haven't got a chance to open the Evil Dead 2 Ultimate figure yet, but I'm going to get to that because that one looks awesome. If you like this video, give a thumbs up, comment, and any questions, please leave below. Subscribe to my channel, Rockstick, and I'm going to have more reviews. Have a good day.